Testing, testing. All right. Hello, everyone. To each, there comes in their lifetime a special moment when they are figuratively tapped on the shoulder and offered the chance to do a very special thing, unique to them and fitted to their talents. What a tragedy if that moment finds them unprepared or unqualified for that which could have been their finest hour. Everyone is in favor of free speech. Hardly a day passes without its being extolled. But some people's idea of it is that they are free to say what they like. But if anyone says anything back, that is an outrage. Never give in. Never give in. Never, 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 never in nothing, great or small, large or petty. Never give in. Except to convictions of honor and good sense. Never yield to force. Never yield to the apparently overwhelming might of the enemy. But mostly, do not interrupt me while I am interrupting. And with that, I'd like to open the show and uh, say thank you to everyone who is here. Uh, I have the chat set for members only at this time. Um, so I know there are many watching who are not necessarily on um, in the chat, but hello to everyone, especially to our chat members. Uh, those who have been here early on, let's say hello to Lisa Marie Presley, Luis Cuevas, ACB, K West, Blessings Galore, Mrs. Depp, Amy, at Venue 3, Marianne Foster, uh, Marcel, Frenchie, Nancy Drew 101, and um, Luna Ray. Luna Ray, welcome in. So, Apologize for the uh, sliced lip. Uh, can't do anything about that. Bear with my appearance. Um, and welcome on in to um, Exposing the Delphi Troll Farm, Episode 2, A Mockery of Justice. Today's show is going to focus on Mr. Richard Snay. Um, we're going to have our, uh, our guest and co-host, Noe, on uh, to discuss uh, the recent uh, developments in his request for a protection order uh, for Mr. Snay uh, due to the constant harassment, intimidation, doxing, and abuse. Um, so we'll be discussing that. We'll be, uh, we're ba basically going to hold a uh, virtual court uh, room examination. We're going to go over um, all the uh, all the exhibits. We're going to go over uh, some context, both before and after. And then we're going to open the chat up at the end for a, a full on discussion. And uh, heads up to Mr. Snay. Um, I did unblock you from the channel uh, since we are addressing uh, facts today. Um, I did unblock you from the channel in the case that you want to come and uh, attempt to answer for yourself. Uh, we, we will allow you in for that. Uh, so you have been unblocked from the channel. <clears throat> Just a heads up to be fair. And um, Let's just ask in the chat, uh, is everyone hearing me okay? And are we good to go? And happy Sunday 
why we do that. Happy Sunday, by the way. Okay, so um, <clears throat> as I mentioned, the, uh, the chat at this moment will be uh, members only. And uh, anyone lurking, please continue to lurk. Uh, you will uh, hopefully enjoy the show. Um, uh, please give me one moment uh, to take. Hello, we are uh, back and uh, we're going to get our guest on. We are ready. We are ready now. So uh, I think the music stopped. Okay, and we're ready for the guest. Let's bring him on. All right, can everyone hear me? Can we hear you? How about Noe? Can we hear Noe? Audio check. One, two, three. Can you guys hear me? All right. Hear Sounds me? like we hear you. All right. So uh, welcome in, Noe. Welcome in, Noe. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Prof. Um, thanks for um, having me again. And um, I know you uh, are have addressed some of the uh, chat members. So I want to say hello to you as well. Welcome in. Thank you. Okay, Noe. So uh, about a week and a couple days ago, you had your hearing with Mr. Snay. Is that correct? Correct. And uh, and so, um, as a result of your hearing, uh, you you received word back that uh, that the uh, order was uh, denied uh, and the counterclaim was denied. So both of you uh, got an answer from the court, which was no action. Okay. And so, uh, so I asked you to send over the copies of uh, all the. Uh, relevant material and you did so so we're going to share that with the people tonight yeah so, uh, cool so let's get started with that um first thing i'm going to do 
Okay, I have my dog being nervous for some reason. But uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, we're going to read a little something for you. So let's bring it on. See if I can get it on up. All right, let's get this on. All right, you may or may not be able to see this very clearly. I can't help that. But uh, it's there in case you guys want to zoom in on this. Um, what we're looking at firstly is uh, <laughs> it's a little funny to me, so apologize if I laugh. Uh, Noe, I, I think I'm hearing a little of my voice feeding back there. Um, Are you? Is it how, how terrible is it? It's a little bit. Okay, so let's read through the. Uh, Let's read through the uh, the statement of facts uh, alleged by Mr. Snay. Um, so what I'll do, I'll read through it, and um, and as we read through it, we're going to stop and we're going to uh, explore the uh, validity of each claim of fact. Okay, so these are claims of fact by Mr. Snay, and uh, we're going to get uh, we're going to get a. Uh, Noe uh, to chime in as well um, as we go through this. Now, um, I'm not sure if I have understanding of all of the facts, so Noe will fill in where uh, there's something I may or may not know the validity of, but we'll get started with the statement of facts here. Um, so this is a respondent's statement of facts, according to Mr. Snay. I, Richard Snay, believe the evidence I will submit to support my counterclaim against David Noe Ramos will show the following. In 2022, I started a YouTube channel centered on the Delphi uh, murders. Delphi after dark. Well, well let me stop there. Let me stop there. That's uh, that's not necessarily true. Uh, centered on the two young girls, uh, I, I think even even uh, Richard uh, has said himself that uh, it's not about the two young girls. Um, correct me if I'm wrong there, uh, chat. But um, you know, he uh, he often will say it's it's not about uh, the two young girls. Uh, I don't have the specifics on that at the moment are not coming to mind, but, but I, I'm thinking of all the various ways that he's reminded us that it's okay because his channels is not about justice for the girls. But <clears throat> Mr. Ramos had been, been released from jail. Uh, he made sure, so this is a, a bit of slander here or a bit of uh, character assassination. So he starts off with Mr. Ramos had just been released from jail, meaning he's a criminal. And then he follows with where he had served the sentence for a drug conviction. So he's also a drug head. So he's, he's instantly painting him as a criminal and a drug head. While incarcerated, Ramos had met and befriended Keegan Klein, a man charged with possession of child porn, who was considered a person of interest in the Delphi case. So he's also smearing him with the uh, allegation that he had befriended a, uh, a man charged with possession of child porn. Like uh, I like to say something here. Oh yeah, go ahead. Uh, when uh, when we were at the hearing, Judge Vanderpool uh, asked me to review this document, which is the one you're reading, and I made the terrible mistake of uh, just reading the first three paragraphs. Um, I should have read the whole document. But yeah, just starting off the bat, uh, he says that he had started a YouTube channel centered on the 2017 murder of two young girls. And then on the last line of that paragraph, he says that I had just gotten out of jail. I wasn't in jail in 2017. So, yeah, I mean, there are so many, uh, what he calls the statement of facts. I, after I came home and read this thoroughly and, and understood it correctly, 
it's more of a statement of lies. But yeah, I was never incarcerated in 2017 or anywhere near Keg. Well, he's not saying that. He's saying in 2022. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. My bad. But let's continue. He says, uh, I had Ramos on a channel on my channel as part of a panel discussion. Oh, okay. My bad. And I, was I, not I, convinced by his story of having been given details about the Delphi murders from Mr. Klein. Uh, also continuing to smear with now, now he's a liar. Okay, but anyway, in subsequent episodes, I spoke doubtfully of Mr. Ramos's claim um, and claims and noted that he had no evidence, only his own word. I soon learned that Mr. Ramos had become friends with Holly Lowry, the creator of a channel called Wife Lilith. I had previously had sim a similar interaction with Miss Lowry. For months, Miss Lowry claimed to be the girlfriend of Keegan Klein. No, she never did once. She never did. That's an outright uh, a perjure right there. That's She never did claim to be the girlfriend of Keegan Klein, ladies and gentlemen. She claimed to be uh, uh, discussing or speaking with Keegan Klein in order to get information out of him. She often spoke cryptically about details connected to Mr. Klein and insinuated that she had inside knowledge of the case because she did and was. By October of 2022, the authorities had moved on from Mr. Klein as a person of interest and arrested Richard Allen for the murders. Yes, but that does not mean that detectives are not still speaking to, looking at, and that Mr. Klein is not connected. Uh, there's a whole lot of that, I... going on here in this, but... Uh, I, I don't know. He's going on about Holly Lowry now for some odd yeah. reason, but uh, it was um, at that, this point that Miss Lowry changed her story. She now claimed that she had tipped Richard Allen into police and was responsible for having him arrested and was insisting that her relationship with Mr. Klein had simply been a cover up to try to get closer to Richard Allen. When Mrs. Lowry approached me about being a guest on my show, I told her she would need to provide evidence of her claims, which she provided me was less than impressive. I told her that she became upset with me and started posting on her community page about me. Mr. Ramos began following suit. He was making nasty comments in my live stream chat, even recorded a video in which he sang about my small balls. Now, as you see up to this point, ladies and gentlemen, he's brought a totally ir irrelevant point into this, uh, into this pile of lies, which was he brought, uh, Holly Lowry into the discussion, which has nothing to do with the uh, claims of Mr. Uh, Noe. Uh, uh, so he, he did so in order to uh, further smear Mr. Uh, Noe Ramos even more uh, by aligning uh, him with someone that uh, who uh, Snade thought was not credible and uh, therefore uh, continuing the smear for the entire first and a half page of Mr. Ramos as being uh, a criminal, recently released from jail, a drug head, a uh, friend of a pedophile, a snitch, a uh, unreliable uh, source, and now a friend to another unreliable uh, person. So it, it's just a whole bunch of uh, nasty uh, tactics by uh, Snay to uh, to kind of smear Mr. Ramos, discredit him uh, in the eyes of the court. Let uh, me uh, let me point out I, some things. I'll let you here. point something out because the next portion we get into a very important thing. So uh, yeah, let so me point yeah, something let's let, out. Let's let Noe chime in uh, because this next part we we really want to focus in on. Yeah, let me point something out. First, first of all, um, he claims that he had me on his channel on a panel discussion, and that that has never occurred. I have never been a guest on any panel discussion on Delphi After Dark. Um, early on, and we were on a panel on Crying to Sleep with Ruckus, Greeno himself and I. So that's see, that starts the pile of lies. And then to uh, compliment what you just said, Prof, 
uh, bringing in uh, Miss Holly Lowry. Uh, let's keep in mind that this document, the statement of facts was his evidence. This was his exhibit A, okay? Where he, this is supposed to be evidence to prove that I am the harasser because th let's not forget that he counterclaimed. So I, I, I uh, filed for uh, threats of physical harm, harassment and stalking. He countered me by uh, filing harassment, right? So this document that you're reading is his evidence. Right. So this deal with Holly Lowry and me being a guest on the panel, uh, I don't know how that proves any harassment on my part. I wanted yeah, to point that, that out. Yeah, that's what I'm, so far there's no, her. it's it's all character okay. assassination or smearing. Yeah. It's, it's, there yeah. we go. But he's trying to influence the court here that, you know, he's trying to, uh, to uh, incriminate you in the eyes of the court before anything is even presented. But let's continue. As is often the case in these online wars, now you, you see what happens here? Instantly, we go into his psychosis about what is actually occurring in reality. So, uh, so in his mind, these are online wars. Okay. I was responding in kind and usually getting the best of him. And so I'm not even going to elaborate on that, whatever that means. A problem <laughs> arose for me when he mentioned my wife and his song. I told him that someday he would be standing face to face with me and he would have to answer for what he had been saying, which is a threat. Okay. This happened not long after, as Mr. Ramos attended hearing at in Delphi that he knew I was going to be covering. Uh, no, Mr. Ramos had no, uh, this had nothing to do with Mr. Ramos knowing you would be covering it. Mr. Ramos is free to attend the hearing just as you were. Uh, he got out of his truck, walked across the street and right up to me. We stood nose to nose and bickered back and forth a little bit. At no time did Mr. Ramos seem to feel he was in any kind of danger. Uh, Mr. Ramos, did uh, did Mr. Stay make physical contact with you? Uh, yeah, he barely bumped me. Okay, mm -hmm. so when you were nose to nose, uh, can you can you just really, really quickly describe that nose to nose and, and the physical contact that occurred? Uh, there's there's images of that and it wasn't nose to nose i mean we came face to face you know we weren't like ah uh, you know uh and one thing that i want to point out here is like another pile of lies the statement of lie lying lies where he says that he had uh said that we would be face to face one day and that i would have to answer for mentioning his wife's name on the song small balls uh that's not that's incorrect what happened was he had challenged me to come face to face with him and call him dicky that's what he had challenged me to I and i said sure i will be at the delphi uh at the uh, richard allen hearing in delphi and i will come up to you and call you dicky which i did i came up to him i walked straight from that part he's got right I walked from my truck straight up to him. And as I was walking up the steps, I said, hey, Dickie. And he started going off and then we came face to face. Okay, then what uh, happened this, with the physical contact? Um, well, uh, you know, um, we I can't tell you specifically what was said, but we were, like he says, calls it bickering back and forth. And at some point, uh, Frank Meister came up to us and he said, guys, guys, come on, don't do this here. And he kind of calmed down the situation. Uh, and uh, as that was going on, he came close to me where, you know, his belly, his fat belly, uh, he bumped it into me. And I was like. Um, so that's I technically that assault, though. That is technically assault. Well, you see, like, the, and that's what, you know, like, I had had a, a screen writer from Hollywood had reached out to me to ask me about that because someone had told her that he had had physical uh, physical contact with me and I said and I, I cleared that out I said I said look ma'am no there was no physical contact he belly bumped me but there was there was no pushing or shoving 
and she she had advised me to press charges on him for that physical contact and i was like at that point you know we were kind of like kind of okay. like separating but he he made the effort to to bump me and yeah so we all understand what happened now so let's let me continue and rush through this so we can get through it let's see uh during a break in the hearing during a break in the hearing mr ramos and i had a discussion and i agreed to take down a video he had been offended by he agreed to take down his song and I thought we had gotten past it all. Miss Lowry, for her part, had, had never stopped harassing me. Whoa, now I got to stop there because this is major. <clears throat> Mr. Rick Snay of Delphi After Dark has consistently and constantly on a daily basis harassed Miss Holly Lowry for the past year. I've witnessed it myself. I have not witnessed her harassing him whatsoever. Uh, I have, however, uh, witnessed plenty of stalking and harassment on the part of Snay towards uh, Mrs. Lowry or Miss Lowry. And, um, and I think the record will uh, prove that point. But uh, again, now he's going to go into character assassination and, uh, and, uh, and claims of fact uh, she was now making outrageous accusations that I had threatened her where you did. You did, Snay. And I was trying to get information about her daughter, where you were. You were. And she's proved that all, by the way, uh, audience. If, you, if you're not aware yet, uh, Ms. Lowry has proved all of these things. And uh, I'm sure most of it can still be found on her community page if you go back a year. Um, I tried ignoring her, but it did no good. Uh, I resorted to making a couple of videos pointing out her agrarious uh, lies. Or maybe egregious? Uh, well, uh, yeah, you resorted to making video upon video upon video and post upon post and live stream upon live stream, constantly harassing this woman for at least a year of her life, which she will never get back. At the end of July, Ms. Lowry disappeared from social media for a few days. Exactly concurrent with her absence, someone posted a fake obituary in her name. Yes, bossy did. Okay, bossy. Mr. Ramos was posting that he was unable to get a hold of Miss Lowry. Yes, because because both Noe, myself, Julie Melvin, and a, a bunch of us were totally unable to get a hold of Miss Lowry, and we were distraught and panicked for days on end. Okay. <clears throat> he was very worried that she had done something to herself. So was I. So was I. And I also had a heart have a heart condition. And I was, uh, I became very sick at the news. And uh, of course, Deb, True Crime's notebook, a true crime notebook covered for Bossy. <clears throat> uh, but thank you, thanks to uh, a couple whistleblowers, we have the full story. I was highly critical of this on my own channel, even though Snay actually knew that Bossy had created it and passed it to Kagan Klein. Okay, Snay had knowledge of this, but he went on his channel lying and pretending to not have any knowledge whatsoever about if the obituary uh, was penned by whoever. And who did he choose to blame? The prof. When Mrs. Lowry surfaced a few days later, Mr. Ramos, strangely enough, was not in the least bit upset that she had not contacted him when he was worried about her. Yeah, we were upset about that. We were very upset that Holly did not contact us. Okay, Holly, I'll let you know right now. I was upset that you let it fester for days and didn't contact us because we were all worried sick thinking that you were harmed. We called all the law enforcement, all the hospitals. We called dispatch. We called uh, the coroner's office. I mean, we did a lot of work to try to track down if you were okay, Holly. So yeah, we were a little upset that you had dropped off the radar. Instead, the focus became finding who had posted the fake obituary. Yes, yes, it did. It did become that. That's why we found out. Surely enough, before long, they were accusing me of having done it. No, Deb's true crime notebook was accusing you. I was accusing your followers, which turned out to be right, that it was bossy. This harassment went on for weeks. Yeah, well, actually, because the investigation went on uh, for a good three to four months. During this time, Mr. Ramos was a guest on a channel called The Prof. 
yours truly. He mentioned he was on his lunch break at work and that he had 30 minutes. Yes, he did. Then he proceeded to talk for nearly 45 minutes. Yes, so what is it your business, Rick Snay? The subject of his talk was, of course, me. He continued his accusations that I had written and posted the obituary. No, we said we knew it came from your side because we knew it did. Okay. After saying he was late and had to get back on the job, he signed off. Good, good, because no, he was being a responsible employee and getting back to work. While he was in the course of talking, I called his employer and asked for his supervisor. Yes, you called his job to try to get him fired, and you admitted later to it, which is literal harassment, Rick Snay. When I reached him, I asked if he was aware that an employee of his was making a YouTube video while on the clock. His supervisor informed me that he had not been aware of that. He would look into it. Later, his supervisor contacted me on Facebook and asked me for a link to the video. That was the extent of my contact with Mr. Ramos' employer. This led to an escalating campaign of harassment in which Mr. Ramos would make frequent videos and posts insisting that I answer to him and his friends. He, he continued to insist that the fake obituary had come from me, either me or someone else in what he referred to as my group. Yes, bossy. This harassment expanded to other creators that I am on a friendly basis with. Yes, bossy. None of them had previously had any entanglements with Mr. Ramos. False. Bossy and Jinx had stalked Mr. Ramos and Miss Lowry at the client's uh, hearing. I realized that making peace in any way I, I could was my only option. No, you didn't. Mr. Ramos and I had a discussion on the phone, and I agreed that if there was anything I could do to help him find out who had written the obituary, I would do it. Yes, it's called pretending to be helpful when you're hiding the knowledge of you know exactly who did the obituary of Polly Lowry. He wanted uh, me to talk to someone and see if that person would tell me who had given her some information that she had passed on. I, I don't know, that sentence doesn't even make sense. This woman was no longer speaking to Mr. Ramos because he had previously twisted her words to make it appear she had implicated me. Yeah, you mean Deb, because Deb was covering for Bossy. I talked to her and she would not give me the information Mr. Ramos wanted. I told Mr. Ramos there was no way I could force her to tell me. At this point, I told him I thought I had done all I could to help them. Honestly, I had no information to give them. Yes, you did. You knew it was bossy the whole time. This wasn't good enough for Mr. Ramos. He kept contacting me, insisting that I had duties I had to attend to. When I insisted I had kept my end of our bargain, he tried calling me on Facebook Messenger. At that time, Facebook had suspended my Messenger account for violations on community standards. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Let's talk about that. What happened with you and Thomas Frost that caused you both to be in Facebook jail. What were you sharing in Facebook Messenger? Were you sharing crime scene photos in Facebook Messenger? Is that why the algorithm picked up those gory photos and locked down Facebook Messenger for you guys? Because word on the street is that's exactly what it is. There are receipts. Back to the point. Um, I was not informed as to what the violations were. Yeah, it's called inappropriate sharing of uh, material that uh, is against community standards of Facebook Messenger. But I received subsequent suspensions that kept me off Facebook Messenger for more than a week. Yeah, because you shouldn't be putting that shit on Messenger. Uh, when Mr. Ramos tried calling me on Messenger, I was unable to respond to calls or messages. Yes, because you were in Facebook jail. When Mr. Ramos tried calling me on Messenger, I was unable to respond to calls or messages. I tried explaining this to him in comments on YouTube, but he insisted I was lying and just avoiding him. A few days later, Mr. Ramos went on the channel of a competitor of mine. Hurry, here we need to talk, okay? Because this is really some deep insight into the mind of one Mr. Richard Snay. Because uh, never in my entire tenure here on YouTube in the past year has I, have I ever considered any other creator to be a competitor of mine, especially any other Delphi-centered creator, okay? Because what I look at it as is... Um, there's no competition at all between Delphi creators, okay? 
no competition. What we are is we are working as a collective optimistically. This is what we would be working as a collective to solve the murders of these two beautiful deceased young children and the four beautiful young girls in Flora. We should be working collectively for this. Okay. But this is a real insight into Snay's mind that uh, that it, here in the, in the uh, in his allegation of fact, he's uh, he's referring to me as a competitor. So let's go on and continue. I need to get through this document. Um, prior to this, people on social media had become aware of the fact that my 17 year old daughter and I have a strained relationship and I haven't spoken in over a year. During the course of this live stream discussion, Mr. Ramos made the following statement. I heard on the YouTube streets that the reason his daughter won't talk to him is because he molested her. The comment was disgusting and vile. It's also defamation. To this point, no one had ever suggested in my 58 years that I would have been anything to do with molesting a child, let alone my own child. This was a lie and was invented by Mr. Ramos and presented to a live audience with the ambition of destroying my reputation. Mr. Ramos called me shortly after. I answered and we got into a very heated argument. I told him in a very in very certain terms that the next time I saw him, I was going to kick his ass. I have admitted to this in, to my YouTube audience, the Wabash Police Department, and I am now admitting it to this court. At the time the statement was made, I meant it. I felt justified by the fact that what Mr. Ramos had done was despicable. After having time to think it through, I no longer wish to harm Mr. Ramos. Um, so before we go any further, I would like, uh, Mr. Ramos to, uh, play the recording of that incident, uh, for us, please. Okay. So I'm going to bring him back on so that he can play for us this example or, or, or a, an example of this, uh, conversation in which Mr. Snape threatened, um, Mr. Ramos, and then we will, uh, finish this document because we have so many more to get through. So uh, we're going to keep the commentary brief and, and blaze through all these documents. But, um, but let's take a listen to these threats. Uh, one moment, please. Can you hear me? Yeah, Noe, do you have that uh, ready to go where you can play that, uh, those threats for us? Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Okay. And basically what I'm about to play here is uh, two minute and 56 seconds. And it's basically my exhibit A, which was in the form of a thumb drive. Here we go. You're gonna do what? Okay, there's one. That's it. Wait, let me see if I missed one up here. There. So that's uh, five, five threats right there that I counted. Okay, so let me just finish this document. Um, mm -hmm. We're gonna, we're probably gonna have that posted on Noe's uh, 
uh, Noe's YouTube page so that you guys can reference it at a later time. Uh, and it'll be, I know the quality was horrible, but, uh, but let's continue. But this is the sort of thing we were, uh, he's, he's referencing here is the, uh, the threatening phone calls, but I'm going to finish this document out and then we're going to get into the receipts. So uh, just a moment. Okay. <clears throat> Since that time, Mr. Ramos has uh, has increased his harassment of me, mocked me, and spread lies about me for months. No, they're not lies. He seems to be telling this court that he is in fear of my threats. He is in fear of you. Uh, he seems now to be telling the court that he is in fear because of threats, yet even after I told Mr. Ramos that the next time I saw him, I would kick his ass, he posted a video, challenged me to a five-minute boxing match. He gave me a time and a place and told me that I had no choice but to accept this challenge. Mr. Ramos also claims I am harassing or stalking him, which you are. I will show the court several weeks of continued online harassment for Mr. Ramos, in which he commands me to respond to him over and over as I continue to ignore him. He posted his phone number, and anytime someone argued with him, telling people to call him, when someone allegedly called and threatened him, he posted a, a video insisted that it sounded like me. Well, it did. Mr. Ramos also posted several videos in which he called the police and complained about me and others. The exasperated Wabash Police Department can be heard in these videos telling Mr. Ramos to file a protective order. I told them that I agreed he should file and we would settle it in court. I informed them that I would make a video offering to give Ramos any information he needed from me to file a protective order. I made a video addressed to Mr. Ramos and Ms. Lowry, who you've been uh, harassing for months offering to file joint protective orders that would bar all of us from talking about each other in social media and impose restrictions on being in the same place in public. Mr. Ramos' response to this offer was to post a picture of my house and my address online. While this may be public information and easily obtainable, it is inappropriate for it to be used in this manner by Mr. Ramos. There have been many stories of YouTube feuds resulting in someone being tracked down and assaulted or even killed. Yes, which is my, why Mr. Ramos is afraid and many of the other creators who are friends of ours are afraid. In my evidence submitted to this court, I will supply a comment by a friend of a supporter of Mr. Ramos and his friends. In this comment, the person is saying they need to find out where my wife works. Yes, yes, because, because we're curious about the abuse of the system that your wife may be participating in by getting you documents from the court system that she has access to. That's, that's what the concern over your wife's employer is, by the way. Comments such as these are implicit threats. No, they're not, they're not threats. And I believe this is true with Mr. Ramos posting a picture of my house and address. I apologize for the list, the length of this listing of facts. I felt I needed to provide the court with context. Yeah, which means smearing on the front end. I am confident that the facts in this matter will support my position that Mr. Ramos has not been stalked or harassed and is not in fear of me. I further feel that the facts will show that Mr. Ramos has continuously harassed me in a campaign designed to my destroy, now listen, destroy my credibility and reputation and also my channel. Okay, now we're going to bring Noe back and we're going to go through this evidence really quickly because uh, I'm going to put it on screen so that he can see it. And uh, we're going to talk about, sorry, I didn't keep up with the letter here. Got, this is the next page. Okay. So you guys screenshot it if you want to read later. And here's the next page. Screenshot it if you want. I apologize. I, I failed to keep up with this. And uh, here's the next one. All right. Screenshot it if you want. And last one. Screenshot it if you want. Okay, and here's our first evidence. All right, you there, Noe? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, what are we looking at here? Well, we're looking at what you said, the pile of lies, the pile of lies. Um, what is this particular document here? This particular document is what he presented at Statement of Facts, where he... Uh, was presenting this to prove that I have been harassing uh, Mr. Snay. Oh, well, take a look at your screen, Noe. I'm sorry. Uh, we've, we've put away the statement of facts. Now we're on the first 
attachment here. What is this one? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I see that now, but that's a little too small for me. So can you tell me what exhibit? It says, ha ha Dickie waiting on those subpoenas. Oh, that is a, um, that is a uh, comment on, uh, on a post where Mr. Snay was saying, waiting for a subpoena for kind of like mocking me because I had reported him and, um, and he thought that, you know, I mean, I, I, I it, it was taking me quite a bit to file because it, I work 40 to 50 hours a week, you know, and it was just taking me quite a bit of, of time to gather these, these documents and, and things like that. Um, so well, what is this document though, right here, this one? Yeah. This is a, uh, like I said, this is a, uh, a post and and this okay is... let's, let's stop let's stop knowing mm -hmm. who's presenting this particular piece of evidence who's presenting this one uh this was uh his discovery mr snay's presenting this yeah so why is he presenting this is this exhibit one two or three do you know this was he only had one exhibit which was which was the um the statement of lies and then his 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 evidence. Okay, so what is this one? This is from him. This is Snay presenting. Yeah, this is Snay presenting. And this and is evidence he, of harassment. This is evidence. Yeah, this is evidence of harassment. Yep. Okay, but but this is a comment by me. Exactly. This is a. a it's what I'm trying to say. This is a, com a commentary on a post that you posted, and he makes a comment. But why is this? I, I'm trying to understand why is this relevant because this right here is something I made. Ha ha. Yeah, and, and I do not see I do not see the context of the post. So he circled it and he said, "Ha ha, Dicky." So no, I said that. I said this is. Yeah, yeah, you did. Prof said, "Ha ha, Dicky." So what he's trying to present here is that this "ha ha, Dicky" is harassment, but. I had nothing to do. But it's with me. That. It's me doing it. Right. It's okay. So let's continue. I'm trying to go quickly, Noe, because we're already an hour in. Well, go ahead. Okay. What is this next one? Okay. This next one is a uh, comment by Sassy Biot, who uh, was uh, asking where we need to get Snay's wife work place. Okay. Oh, this That's is what I was referring to. Okay, this one here is because we want to know if she's abusing the system that she has access as a court employee to get documents and information from the court system uh, that civilians don't have access to. Correct? Is that that? That's why we want this information. But he's he's alleging that this woman is asking for uh, information on this to stalk and harass his wife, but we don't well, want well, it for well, that. We want to know, is Laura abusing the system, the computer system in the office, in the courthouse to gain access to documents that she, uh, that you, that Richard Snay would not otherwise have? That's the question. And he's presenting that to prove that I am harassing him. Additionally, this is supposed to be you harassing him, but it's yeah. Sassy Biot. Yeah, okay. because, because that comment was made on, on one of my uh, community posts. Okay, what's this next one? Okay, this next one is a, uh, a uh, series of uh, screenshots where he screenshots my shorts where I, I made several shorts, well, the ones that I actually, you guys just heard, where he's harassing me or whatever, and I would, I would label them and keep up the short for a week or so, and then I would take them down. And, uh, and this is proof that I've been harassing him because I was exposing okay. I got his you. threats. Okay, let's keep moving. Mm -hmm. What is this here? Um, uh, okay, this is a uh, an email 
that okay, it's he not called an email. This is this almost looks like Discord. No, this well, do you see this this portion right here? Okay. That is my boss uh emailing uh Rick asking him to send him the link to the live that I was okay, doing. So why is this being presented? Because he's trying to show that that my boss had requested. Okay, the link. I got it. But 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 of course, but hold on. He called my office, my my job, and reported me. So when when the word got to the supervisor, my my plant supervisor, my supervisor got back and sent him an email. Yeah, said, naturally, we get send, all send, that. Me, send me, show me what work he's doing, and yeah, that's what it. that is. So what's next? What's here? Uh, this is um, this is a screenshot from uh, a comment that I made when when someone called me during a lot. Oh no no, I was on a call with you, and somebody called me and threatened to. Um, oh yeah, and it's documented. It's on YouTube, right? Yeah. So here's okay, let's here's, move on. Here's so the he's saying hold that on, you posting on, this is hold harassment. On, hold on, bro. Here's my comment, and there's the number that called me, and that's well, that's proof what I'm that getting I'm at. Harassing. What I'm getting that's, at, he's a. This is evidence of you harassing him. I'm right? harassing him, yeah. But it's not okay. It's not. Nothing's directed to him right here. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. So, what is this one? Um, same thing. It's same it's, it's, fact. It's, it's it's still it, it's it's still like a, a post and me just saying that that you were well, a witness not us for harassing him. Call. It's us. It's us describing an incident. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Us describing. Yeah, and that's harassment. We're gotcha. harassing. Okay. Him. You know what's this one? Once again, that that has to do with that harass uh, threatening call that I had received that. It certainly sounded like like uh, Rick's name, and it's me making a uh, a comment. Uh, right. I but don't know you I, harassing Snay, but it is supposed to be proof of me harassing Snay. Right. There is no, uh, I don't know where it was posted, or I couldn't tell you, but it was it was it was a, a comment that I made because obviously it's Good. got this the X in the three. What did you ask? What's this next one? Okay, that next one is a series of, of comments that I made, okay? When I was like going off on, um, on Rick because I was upset, frustrated that, uh, that he had told me that, that he would help with with the uh, obituary etc and i was supposed to call him and then he wouldn't answer so i kept i kept trying to portray to him that he could still talk to me i had given him my alternative phone number just because you're you're in facebook jail or messenger jail doesn't mean that you can grab your phone and call my alternative number you can block yeah, so you know call me private this so is I, so far I this was is going i was going I was going, going off on him, like tell him, call me, call me here, call me on this number. So he he presented that as uh, evidence of me harassing okay, him. Okay, and uh, hold on. So so far, this is the closest to relevance we have so far. Mm -hmm. The only one. But, okay. but let me point out, Prof, that he told me that we were gonna have a phone. We made a phone appointment. Yeah, I get it. We all get. I mean, it's, okay. it, it we're, not, like, I was, we're not arguing with the logic right. of this. I just okay. want to go through each one and quickly. Let's see. Now this looks like nothing to do with Snare. This is this is you and and Holly. Yeah, as Holly and I are communicating. Okay, on, this is uh, so. What the hell does this have to do with Snare here? I don't see. I don't. What even see his name? Snay. I mean, we're not even discussing okay. Snare. We're talking. What's this next one? I'm discussing Hannah Shakespeare and. I don't know. I don't know why we he present that as, as evidence. 
What's okay, this, this, one this next one, which is this one here. This is a, a um, commentary. Can you show it to the camera, please? Oh, it's a drawing. I see. Yeah, it's a commentary illustration that I did. Um, and it's got uh, Rick Snay. He presented this and said that I had, I, I had been doing these cartoons of him and labeling him small balls. I only did one. And this is, I mean, you, you see this kind of shit on newspapers uh, daily. He said this was harassment. Yeah, it's him and the murder sheet. I posted it on my on my community page. You ready? Hey, Noe. Uh huh. I'm just giving the chat a moment to uh, look at this particular one they had questions about. Okay. Uh, but we'll move on to the next one. What's the next one? Uh, the next one I have, I I have a, um, it, which is not the same the same one you've got up, but the next one the next one is just a uh, a screenshot of a post that I made where I had posted the subpoena. And I said, I don't know if you remember, it was something that I, I said something like, um, uh, good, good things happen to those who wait. Uh, but in, in Rick Snay's case, bad things happen to those who wait because he was waiting for the subpoena. And finally, I had proof that, that the subpoena was on, on its way to him. So he he took that and presented it as evidence that I was harassing him by posting the subpoena on my channel. Okay, next. What's this one? This is you posting his house. Okay, mm -hmm. okay and uh, that was Mr. Cruz. That wasn't me. I'm just kidding. You're <laughs> yeah, that was Mr. Yo. Cruz. I changed to Mr. Cruz. And um, okay, it is It is a uh, satellite. Oh, you, were tell you were basically messaging to him that you have his address to send the subpoenas. I get Yeah, you. because he had said that. And it says it right there on the okay. statement of Let's lies that, on. that he, that he, uh, he had tried to negotiate and, and his, his offer was to give me his address. I said, no, I already have it. Boom. Posted public info. All right, let's start with these case reports. Look, we're not going to read them. Just uh, I'll go through them, and why don't you describe them? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I hope I have them in order, dude. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's just describe them all. All right. I'll click through them. So that's one. This is uh, 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 August 12th. Mm hmm Okay, so what's contained in the August 12th one, real quick? Do you want me to do it or you? No, just, just tell me what's in it. Uh, what it, What okay. is August 12th it, about? Yeah, it is, it is a police report. Uh, description is for harassment. Uh, officer K143. Um, basically, I reported harassment by uh, Rick Snay for announcing that uh, he would cause physical harm. Okay, let's move on. This is September 23rd. What is this one? Okay. Um, threats. Uh, report to Officer 138. Um, description threats. Um, pretty much uh, probably the same thing. Um, were one of those I, i've already presented the clips so this would have been where he probably said he'd break me in half shove me on my ass or something okay then we got december uh october 15. okay all right so i got one harassment threats okay 10 15 uh it's another one for threats and it was done by phone and as well uh, officer 138 so uh, this is again for threats with physical harm. 
That's two, okay. two threatening 16, reports. Yeah, the next day. Mm -hmm. It'd be threats again on uh, 10 16. Um, again, uh, same officer and another another report of physical harm. Threats with physical harm. Okay, then we got 10, uh, 1108. 1108 is a follow up where, um, where I, I had a meeting here with uh, uh, the officer that I described 148 and um, I'm sorry, 138. And we had a, a, a lengthy discussion and uh, I explained to him, it, it's, it's, it's this described as a follow up. But this okay. is where I had described, this is where I had described uh, how Mr. Snay had uh, influenced many other, you know, YouTubers, whatever you want to call them, uh, creators, whatever. And, and I gave them a list of the other creators that were harassing. Or okay, I feel the next up here, we have a letter. This, this is from myself, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so what is this really quickly? Let's just tell the people right what this is. This okay, this letter. letter. This letter uh, I presented at as Exhibit B two, and Mr. Snay uh, objected. He uh, claimed that these people he wouldn't have the chance to cross examine, so the the judge um, did not allow this. And okay. I had three three letters, one by. By a prop. let's read let's read this one here. Why don't you read okay. this one? Read this one uh, for the people, please. Do you want me to read it? Yeah. Okay. All right. To uh, to whom it may concern, Mr. Richard Snade has been harassing and cyber stalking me and others for many many months. No, 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 In no, fact, no, no, no. Look at the screen. Wrong one. Wrong letter. Oops. I'm sorry, brother. That's okay. Oh, my bad. Okay. Uh, this is a um, Wabash County Community Corrections. And this is from Jeff Hobson, who is my um, supervisor for EHD, Electronic Home Detention. Please allow this to serve as my response to uh, the inquiry regarding the phone calls that I have received from outside parties. I show documentation that my office has received two phone calls to register complaints from people that have interacted with you on your YouTube channel. I received a voicemail message from Rick Snay on September 13th of 2023. And one of my other officers received a phone call from Kyra De Bruin on October 16th of 2023. I did not respond to either party since their complaints had nothing to do with your supervision on home detention. To my knowledge, I have spoken with a Karen White and my documentation on that is noted by my other supervisor and I have had no further contact with anybody else okay so let's go quickly through these next ones what's this here oh okay all right so now we're we're going into exhibit c um i was able to present a screenshot with the uh the timestamps of the uh threats so this one here is where um, this one is where he is uh, he is admitting to call my job to try to get me fired. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. Let's keep going. Next um, one is the second one is uh, a screenshot where he confirms that he will do it again that he would call my job again. The next one. Oh, I see. Okay, next. Debbie. The next one is. Uh, 
it's a screenshot of a conversation between um, Rick Snake, Debbie, Deb from Deb's True Crime and myself. And it's just, um, it, it shows that, that I was not the one who pointed the finger at Mr. Snake because he had accused me that I was harassing him by blaming him for, for creating the fake obituary. The next one is, is a screenshot where Mr. Snay had wa wanted me to go uh, and meet him and, 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 and uh, box with him. And I said, I can't do that. We're going to do it later. We're going to, we're going to set a date and meet. I can't just get up and go Saturday because, you know, I just can't. Okay. What's this next one? It's a threat. Another mm -hmm. threat. Okay. Now that one is a threat of physical harm. Uh, that's the one where he says, uh, bend over, put your head between your knees, stick it up your ass. Okay. Breathe for air, blah, blah, blah. Let's keep moving. This is too uh -huh. much. Okay. Okay, uh, the next one is it's pretty much the same situation where he he accused me of coming in to his live chat as justice is sweet. And he said that I I was that that account was me. And that's when he went on to say to bend over and put my head between my knees. Well, you know, you should, uh, if justice is sweet, if you're out there, YouTuber, justice is sweet. Uh, why don't you say who you are so uh, we can prove that it's uh, not one of us. Okay, let's keep Yeah, and he, he banned justice is sweet. He got, he threw a fit and he said that, that just because justice is sweet had commented that they were friends with Carrie Timmons. He said, oh, that's Noe, that's Noe. Well, guess what, Noe? You can do da da and bend over, da 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 and, and justice is sweet got banned that night What's i watched the next it, one I, here um uh i was presenting uh a conversation between rick snay and the babylonian cowboy where they were mocking me for my um uh my land my uh the oh way they I do that often the racist shit yeah yeah the way i, I actually did it this morning with my son but we'll talk about that in a minute let's say, see, uh, let's say, say, say a sentence something that that i can say in, in in one sentence it takes him 10 and shit like that you know then other times they would talk about the leather face and anyway that's what this is next one it's one where uh, Mr. Snay is is uh, confirming that he he's called me little bitch, um, and where he uh, he accuses me of calling him a child molester. Which yeah, it's I I never I never used those terms, man. I never I I never called him like I never said child molester. But I mean, if he wants to perceive it that way, that's that's his problem yeah maybe a guilty conscience or something i said i heard on the YouTube what's, the, what's the deal with calling people little bitches but uh yeah let's keep moving i, I we got to get through this bro let's see next up yeah next one he's uh he's saying that that was not comedy uh calling someone a child molester is not funny and I, 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 I was gonna say I never did call him a child molester. I said that I heard that he had molested his daughter. I heard on the YouTube streets. Um, and I, re I responded to him by saying that calling, uh, calling me or spreading rumors about being a multiple rapist is not comedy either. So I was trying to portray to show the the judge that. It was a vendetta that what that had, uh, you know, been going on. Where you know, he threw a, a rock and I threw it back at him, or he throw a rock at me, I throw yeah, a rock I'm at him. Yeah, I'm seeing it. That's why I'm skipping yeah. through all this shit. That's why it it's just bullshit. Okay, let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I see Holly Lowry. Yeah, that post is uh, where uh, they were taking uh, screenshots from the videos that Bossy 
had done, and they started spreading them all over, like vicarious vigilante. Bossy sure is at the center of a lot of this, isn't she? Uh, isn't Bossy like dead smack in the middle of all this shit? And why does she? Why does she act like no one can address her? No, but well, she she hides under the other names. The, yeah. uh, this name again, and and those type of names. Uh, there's one that's very uh, bossy, like right now going on. And, and where's Bossy? Okay, We're not well, stupid. Oh, I guess she's in Nashville, huh? But anyway, uh, this particular one was where they 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 spread those screenshots that were taken by Bossy, and they and they they like would pick the worst looking picture to uh, to you know slander and say spread rumors about she being on drugs and and us having leather faces and they were having a blast a kick with rich don lab yukio and and tommy frost and, let's keep and, going uh, let's keep going yeah. let's see um oh this is kyra de bruin saying she emailed your corporate quote unquote yeah yeah and I mean, if this doesn't show that, you know, you got Rick's name right here, Rick's name, you got his con his chat, and Kyra De Bruin, I'm gonna read it, claims, oh, I got more plans for Noe, no worries. I couldn't show his supervisor proof on the phone, but I emailed corporate. Yeah, that's more harassment. Okay, so that's, what do we yeah. got next? So they're harassing. That's a no, no, no. But I'm going to move forward, okay? Harassing your job is the problem here. They're That's harassing right. your job, trying Corporate. to get you fired. Corporate. What, is, what does she think she is? Okay, what's this next one here? Yeah, okay. Uh, he. Uh, this is a, uh, a, a screenshot of me uh, in my apartment and where I have reported him to the police and... And Mr. Schnee is saying that I was going live stream, that I was do, I was going live when, when while the officers were here, and that was not the case. I was oh, videotaping. It's stupid, my, stupid argument. And okay. then making posts. Yeah, yeah, that stupid ass argument. Let's keep going. It don't matter. Well, I went through that. What do you got next? What's next? Uh... This is Deb. Yeah, uh, we can go over, we can go through this quickly, but uh, exhibit C2 was not admitted. Okay, well, I'll just keep, I'll flip through it so people can see it, but. Mm -hmm. And basically what it, what it is, is uh, I, I put a, a pile together where I, I uh, showed, I was trying to show the, the judge that Deb Slaughter was the one who, pointed the finger to Snay, and it's right here yeah it's right let's here. move on let's move on we're already past all that yeah yeah we that's why did. i told you this was not a separate admitted so all right so but but what we're showing here we're showing delphi dummies and vicarious vigilantes who have harassment channels harassment based channels in which they do things like this they put our faces up you see Frank Meister, Noe, Prof. Mm -hmm. uh, there's uh, multiple individuals on this channel, uh, uh, Meow, uh, and they uh, they do that to uh, try to intimidate, harass, and humiliate us. All right, let's move on. Uh, here we have something called order. Let's read. What do you tell us? What this is here? What What is that document? The order. Hold on, bro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I will, uh, I will, uh, I will cover this here. This is the order. Okay, this was the decision of the court that uh, that both parties failed to meet the statutory definition of harassment. Okay, so the order is denied. So. Obviously, I mean, if you look at this collection that we just labored through for an hour, uh, you will see that uh, it's just a bunch of bullshit. Okay, there's absolutely the only harassment that I saw 
are those channels, Delphi dummies and vicarious vigilantes, which we know who is behind both of those, by the way. Uh, we have uh, uh, whistleblowers. But uh, this is the decision of the court that both failed to meet the uh, statutory definition of harassment. Therefore, both are denied. Uh, even though the case that uh, Noe made was 10 times stronger than Snay, uh, it's a moot point. Now, let's get back to the issue. Has there been harassment? Okay. Yes. Yes, there has been harassment. Where has the harassment come from? I ask you that. I would like to point out that uh, I would offer you who makes channels that are filled with hate videos directed directly at other uh, creators who have opposing viewpoints. Delphi Strong, Delphi Dummies, Vicarious Vigilante, Babylonian Cowboy, uh, Hurley Armstrong. Okay, we know who we know who are behind all these channels, and we know what these channels do. That's harassment. Uh, Jinx 13, stalking me in every single place on YouTube, following me around, okay? Never do I go into her channel, okay? Never once have I gone to her channel to harass. But uh, every single day, she comes into my channel uh, on fire, causing chaos and destruction everywhere she goes, okay? Rick Snay. Uh, so we're going to move on now. I want to read a few choice selections. We'll bring Noe back on and we'll read through a few things that uh, we woke up to this morning with uh, Dickie Smallballs. So uh, let's get Noe on. And uh, Noe, let's look. I'm going to look at your your community page because I know a lot of it took place on your community page. We're going to go through some of your community page uh, where uh, Smallballs came in uh, and his... Uh, gang of, of stalkers uh, they all came in to harass so uh, let's see we're going to start off with uh i'll try to find the ones that uh, are most appalling to me and we'll just quickly go through it and then we'll get to the chat and i really do apologize chat for the length of time this has taken i just wanted you all to have an opportunity to see every single document um so what happened is uh one day ago okay yesterday morning Snay came into Noe's community page and he made the following statements. Uh, because I, I made a comment and I said that uh, sounds like threats and intimidation to me because uh, Snay had sent threats and intimidation. And Snay came in and said, good, because they are threats and it is intimidation. I don't need anyone else, Noe. I can give you what you deserve all by myself. You run your mouth to everyone all the time. You've earned anything that's coming your way. See, so easy, even a caveman could understand it. Okay, so what I take that is, immediately after being denied uh, these protective orders, uh, he comes back with harassment and threats, right? And he says, I don't need anyone else. I can give you what you deserve all by myself. You run your mouth to everyone all the time. Here's a key threat right here. You've earned anything that's coming your way. That, that sounds like a direct threat. See, so easy, even a caveman could understand it. Okay, so that's just yesterday morning. Okay, then there's more. Let's go to, uh, there's another one. Because, uh, I want you guys to hear something that is just outrageous. Apologize, it takes me time to find these. I don't, I'm not the best with having it ready. Okay, so Delphi Dummies comes in and says, I heard a rumor that Keegan used to make you hold his pocket when you guys were in the slammer together. Could you put that rumor to rest? So, uh, yeah, it's just straight harassing. Now, Jinx comes in with some threats. 
Remember those words? No, it works both ways. I've got a DUI like you showed. What's on your criminal record since you seem to be sharing mood, put and pop? I'm sure you wouldn't mind sharing yours with everyone. And then she demands that he uh, takes photos of his criminal record and post it. Um, Well, she doesn't want to talk about her record, uh, but I don't want to either, so we won't. Um, but let's see. Um, then we had this morning, okay? This morning was where the, the hits came in. They always come in in the morning. That's kind of an MO of these people. Okay. Here it is. Because they came in with the racism. If you would look, there's a post called, uh, Noe, will you look at your community page and show it to the screen? The one called Coach Cruz, Wawasi High School Boys Soccer. Mm -hmm. um, show that to the, show those comments on that to the screen. There's a, there's an account here that's pretty interesting. It's called Little Prof's Mom. It's an account called Little Prof's Mom. Okay. Little Prof's mom says, bring it a little closer to him. Are you single, Coach Cruz? Do you get jiggy with it? Little Prof's mom. All right. Now, Noe, let's go to the one that's called uh, Sanction. No, I'm sorry. It's called... Uh, It's the one with the uh, with the racism, the little prof. I forget with the what it. with the racist comments to little prof. Was well, the one that says Coach Cruz, right? No, it's on the one that's called Jinx Strike One or something. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'll read the comment. I just it, gonna read it for to... you while he pulls it up. It's yeah, called. Yeah, what? Which comment do you want me to? show well it's it's under the jinx strike one i'm, I'm there i'm on the i'm there okay it's by dubop dup da dup da dup which we know who you are by the way uh we know who you are dup da dup okay dup da dup says and this is a female oh yeah that was a sick burn dang man y'all are amazing haha -ha, prof sitting there telling that ugly baby He's raising. That's four year old. And I called her short. Everyone was like, dang, good one. Yeah, that's right. You ugly little bastard. Your dad's a true gangsta, little prof. Little prof is four years old and his mother is African American. Okay. So little prof is apparently an ugly baby that I am raising. And an ugly little bastard, little prof. Now, you're talking about a four-year-old here. We're talking about a four-year-old. They started harassing him. That little prof's mom account was created when he was three years old. So when he was three years old, they started harassing him. They made an account called Little Hot Prof's Hooked on Phonics. They made an account called uh, Little Prof's Mom. They've made several racist uh, comments, including referring to Little Prof as a monkey. Okay. Uh, Can I say something? Yeah, it's your your floor is yours. Okay, right here. That's Honeybee. Okay, that's Honeybee. And. Uh, then you see Delphi dummies right there. You see people like Jinx right there. Jinx. Uh, Babylonian cowboy. And, you know, like, they all come in and, like, communicate with each other. They target... The, the same people like a lot of the mo just 
and this happens in several community posts on my channel, on Prof's channel, and the same targets, you know, like Holly. And it's like, do you guys expect us to think that you're not working on this together? There is a, a, a post by Rick Snay where he says that now they're, they're meeting in, in the discords. And he says, everybody's making fun of you, Noe, in the discords, in different dis discord servers. And we know that you guys meet in, in private and stuff, you know? And then, and then uh, you want to come into our posts and command together as a group. It's, it's evident that, you know, you got like olive, olive juice. So, I mean, look, look at, look at olive juice. Okay. Coming in and it's always the same people is my point, what I'm trying to say. And, and uh, then we go into doing this, right? This is my post. This is no different than a tabloid or a magazine uh, having a headline. Okay, it's freedom of speech. If I want to believe that a certain, a certain, um, like a certain creator is going under a different name, I can, I can, I surely can. Okay, especially when I have receipts, like this receipt. You know, like, like I've been told that a certain person is the unhinged and I've been knowing this for a few weeks now. And if I want to post it, I can. If I want to expose it, why not? Immediately who comes in? Jinx. To defend the post. There's Jinx. All I'm doing is using the, the community page as a tool to attract to attract the troll farm and it never fails. Where'd you go, prof? Oh, I'm not, I haven't gone anywhere right here. Okay. Yep. Well, um, you have any more with that? I, I think you were doing good. You were showing like the, the grouping, you're showing the grouping working. Yeah. They're, they're, yeah. They're, yeah. And, uh, it happened when, when, uh, in, in July was June or July, whenever, whenever, uh, uh, the sentencing of Kagan Klein uh, with a fake obituary, you know, it was the same group. It was Bossy, Jinx, Frost, a hybrid, Persevere, the same group, Honeybee. And then after that, it was the uh, deal with, with me making lives about Kyra De Bruin calling my job. The same people came in. Back then we had Raspberry Beret. We had, um, let's not forget about Jennifer, right? And then, and then, and then they'll switch to another group of, but it's always the same ones coming in. It's Jinx, Yukio, and we know Bossy's there. Bossy, Bossy, uh, the way I know, I know Bossy is because she's very irrational and very racist. And she's also very, uh, she uses those emojis, those, the, the, the smiley face with the tears. And she uses the double hearts. Uh, I've been watching very closely on Bossy's. You can go to Bossy's uh, channel on, on a lot of the shorts that she made. And then you can see the emojis they use. Jinx uses the two hands and the shit and the piece of shit. Um, so then, 
then they come in on a with a different name and they forget they forget that they switch names and they start they start talking the same way and you know just like the way cops do it i can do that too and i can and i can kind of tell who's who it's that simple you know i mean i'm not stupid like here uh, on my latest post about what, aspen, what? aspen connor um uh, I've been told for a few weeks who, who that unhinge is. And I made a post today because we're talking about trolls. And the first comment to come in is Jinx. Throwing uncooked pasta on the wall and nothing sticks. And of course, her little face, the little the little faces with the, with the tears. Okay. And then we had one called Noe the Explodey. Noe the Explodey come in. And just by the way they, they post, they comment, you know, you, you get an idea of who it is. Like, let me give you an example of one that was really evident was this name again. And this name again, I noticed that during that time, Bossy was posting about going to uh, some kind of a dog trainer event. And... And then she also posted this, this cartoon of a face, of a very pretty face. And uh, she made a, a short. And then like the hours later, I checked this name again and she had the same cartoon character, you know? And I, I started taking a look at, at the way she talked on, and, and I could tell that that was a very close match to the same person yeah and i mean <clears throat> at the end of the day and there's a whole lot there's racism too racist racist yeah, yeah. comments on this name again but at the end of the day this bossy and jinx they they have caused so much chaos okay on a daily basis both with flora and Keegan Klein and Delphi, okay? And it has to be said, okay? And you go, and like you're mentioning, you notice the groupings here. There, it's a, it's a little gang, it's always grouped together. That's why we call it the troll gang, the troll farm. You go into Rick Snay's chat, okay? Rick Snay has outright denied that I went to Indiana at all, okay? When first I met with someone who is native to Indiana and who can vouch for my presence there, I took hours of drone footage, hundreds of photos I visited very famous landmarks in Indianapolis, especially. Okay, I visited the Flora Cemetery. I posted dash cam footage. I posted to certain friends photos of my child on the High Bridge and on Wilson Bridge and on Deer Creek and at the uh, Soldiers and Sailors Monument and in the Flora Cemetery. Okay. Snay, however, to this day, continues to outright deny that I ever went to Indiana. And guess who else? Ruckus Rocks. Ruckus Rocks. Guess who else? Until the other day. Jinx. Now Jinx's new thing is prof. I heard that you brought a whole bunch of drugs to Indiana, alleging or insinuating that I trafficked a large amount of drugs from Colorado to Indiana, which that which she knows is not true, and which also proves she knows that I did go to Indiana. But which is it, Jinx? Did I traffic drugs and go to Indiana, or or is it like you said for the first month and a half that or two that I never went to Indiana? I faked it. I mean, you guys make no fucking sense whatsoever. Okay, you're all psycho. You're all psycho. It's the fucking pipe, dude. It's the fucking meth pipe, okay? You guys need to stop. 
All of this has been documented for almost a year now. Okay, it's all been documented. It most of it has been tipped in the law enforcement already. We're we're way ahead of you in that. Okay, we've requested hundreds of times to not have any contact with you whatsoever. Stop coming in my channels. Stop following me around to other chats. Yet you go after my child. You go after uh, straight your up brother, like this. Your dead brother. Your dead brother. Okay. Your my parents. dead brother. Say it, went after say it. my dead brother. Accused him of being a chomo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nothing's going to get him back. You can't let him rest in peace. You know. You have harassed Tara to the point of her literally shaking in fear. Okay. You have damaged a young woman's uh, uh, inner soul with the abuse. And she was the only one willing to do what was right for Galen and those, those girls that had a platform. And I guarantee you, because I was observing and I am in communication. Okay. And what does she say about you guys? Yes, you all share passwords. Yes, you have each other's account passwords. Yes, you have all the troll account passwords. Yes, there's probably 30 to 50 accounts that you all collectively operate. And we know it because guess what? We've tracked the accounts and all those accounts have been tipped in, guys. I mean, this shit, like we know we are dealing with criminal level cyber stalking, but it's gang stalking, which makes it a higher offense on a federal level. You're in a federal jurisdiction called the internet. Okay, you're committing federal crimes. We've asked you for months to stop. Okay. Now, Dick Snay claims that I have a criminal record. You know. Can you say slander? Because I do not have a criminal record in any city, in any state. So uh, swearing that I have a criminal record in New Orleans, the way that you did, uh, you cannot accuse me of committing crimes as if it's fact when you know it not to be. Okay, Jinx, the fact that you claimed that I trafficked a large amount of drugs to Indiana on my recent trip, uh, that's accusing me of committing a crime as if it's fact. You stated it as fact. Okay, let me tell you something. Every one of these assholes is either Indiana, Kentucky based. Okay, we're dealing with an Indiana, Kentucky cartel. These people are on a mission. And, uh, and you've basically, you've ran so many people off the internet over Delphi, <clears throat> okay? You're not gonna run me off. You're not gonna run Meow off. You're not gonna run the unraveling off, okay? You make as many stupid channels, you're not running off the unraveling. You're not running off Little Joe. You're not running off Julie Melvin, Noe Amos, Holly Lowry. You're not running us off. You're not running Lauren off. Oh, go ahead, Louie. <clears throat> I'm going to be fucking on the streets real soon. Um, I want to talk a little bit about Gun Clubhouse and Ashley Schaefer and that stuff. Uh, I have, I have, I pulled up uh, Tommy Frost's conversation on, on Facebook Messenger with me where he confirms that, that he has video chat. Well, first he said, Noe, you will never guess who... Uh, Ashley Schaefer is and I said well how, how do you know that and he said well because he's in Europe and I said oh well so you know who you know who it is and he said well yeah I know who it is I email with him but I've never I don't know his name okay and then some time passed by and then later he said to me that uh, Ashley Schaefer is out of state He's, he's in another state. So I'm like, well, what do you mean? Is he in Europe or in the States? And then further on on that conversation, 
he tells me, he confirms with me that he has um, video chatted with, with Ashley Schaefer. So I'm like, oh, so, so you know who he is. And he gives me some bullshit ass excuse as to, well, I've chatted with him, but I don't know who he is or I don't know who, who his name. So I'm just kind of like playing dumb, playing stupid. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, whatever. But you know, the whole time I'm thinking, dude, you, you really think I'm stupid. If, if, how can you video chat with someone and not know who they are? So what I'm trying to point out is the bullshit around, bullshitting around. Then I went on to have a lengthy, a lengthy, or someone, someone came forward during this exchange, uh, or uh, I made a post. I would have to go back and think of, uh, think of which post it is. But I made a post, and someone came forward and said, "I am Ashley Schaefer," and that person was Charlie Ocean. Uh, channel called gun club house so i went on to talk to this person you know back and forth on comments and i have them all you know i have them all i'm not going to go back and, and and read read uh read them out of my phone but the full idea of the thing was that this person claimed to be a police officer invited me for lunch invited me to go shooting guns and uh claimed that he was from a family, uh, came from a family of law enforcement and who was close to Doug Carter. And, um, and they claimed to, to be Ashley Schaefer, uh, batch number 382. And they were with MPD. I asked them several times, what does the M stand for? What police department? And they would kind of like bush it around the bush with me on that. So, so I, I talked to this person for quite a bit and, uh, and towards the end of our, our exchange, uh, Ashley Schaefer said to me, uh, I, I'm not that Ashley Schaefer, you know, I don't do those channels. I don't do those, uh, uh, little clips. And, and I was like, oh, okay, well, but she kept me going for, I don't know if it was, she claimed to be a female or. Uh, the channel, it's got a woman shooting guns. Well, right around that same time, uh, a lot of these videos were coming up on, on Ashley Schaefer. And I noticed that they were using something what, what Thomas Frost had described as deep fake, where they take your face and they put it on on a character and they you know they did it all with tara with meow um me prov little joe uh was in it um i saw hughes i believe and what i noticed was that on these videos the same people were coming into the comments to have a, a party it was kyra de a necessary evil it was hybrid and it was a jinx of course always uh, this name again. And, um, so then I, I, you know, I go back, I look at vicarious vigilante. I look at, uh, uh, screenshots of Delphi, uh, Delphi strong, uh, Delphi dummies. And it's just the same people having the same blast targeting the same creators or YouTubers like, you know, myself, prof, little Joe, um, Frank Meister, um, Sleuth. Oh, and let me point something out too that I had noticed back about four or five months ago that Deb Slaughter was also targeted at some point. And uh, hmm, oops, um, she was somebody made a video of her and she she was really hurt by that and she came to me and said no who's who's this channel and i said i don't know i mean but they're blasting my ass too how would i know um and then uh, a couple weeks later i noticed that her video was taken down um 
which to me that was very odd and very very strange because uh now uh just a little after that i noticed that bossy herself had made a uh a short where she was slandering holly prof myself sleuth and deb okay uh she was claiming that deb was a a vulture going off and uh my point of it is that uh why was deb pardoned why was her videos her video taken down and uh, so it just made it very strange and to know that uh, for a fact that she had shared some stuff that i had i had told her and she was the only person that knew okay during this whole holly obituary and then i had three youtubers shared to me share with me some information that i had given deb so i just I, I just very odd behavior you know in the same group i'm trying to point out that it's the same group the same channels that are very you know very uh i mean they think it's all funny and that's where they meet to have fun and it is very yeah, that's <clears throat> That reminds me of something I saw today, which was, uh, you know, the recording of Yukio that's uh, on the channel. Mm -hmm. Someone came in there today and made a really nice comment, and it was very observant that uh, because you, you remember how she explicitly laid out and ladies and gentlemen, uh, at this very moment, because uh, this is apt to change at any any hour, but um, She's currently called Olive Juice, okay, formerly known as uh, Yukio, formerly known as Solo Bird, formerly, for, formerly known as uh, Minerva, uh, formerly known as uh, Bitch Barbie, formerly known as, uh, help Hell, me out here, no? Hell's, Hell's Angels. Hell's Angel. Uh, Cricket. Cricket. Did you say Minerva? Uh, Minerva. Mm -hmm. Minerva and also uh, currently Olive. Olive juice. There's so What's there's that? the raspberry beret. Raspberry beret. Raspberry. Okay. So anyway, the uh, someone made a comment in there that that how sick it is. Like I should look for it because it was a good comment. Uh, because and the, the reason I'm bringing it up is because of the mockery. Okay. The title of the show is a mockery of justice. We got a mockery coming from the. The court system. We got a mockery coming from Carroll County. We got a mockery coming from the prosecution. We have a mockery coming from half of the YouTubers who are prosecution friendly, and we have a mockery coming from the trolls. And uh, and Rick Snay himself is a mockery to this case and uh, and to justice. Uh, this is why uh, I put him in the in the thumbnail. And um, and and Yukio is a mockery and. Um, and like you're saying, the whole having fun, okay, the whole enjoying the party. Um, but this person made a, a really nice comment. I'm not going to read it, because, but that was just the point, is that he was saying how sick and twisted it is to enjoy and make a party out of, uh, out of the death of these two children. You know, that was the essence of the comment. And uh, I may go find it and read it later. Uh, but, yeah. Um, so let me see. Before we go into the chat, I would like to take a moment. Uh, I'd like to take a moment now to uh, discuss some things with my uh, family here on YouTube um, and uh, let you know what's going on because uh, I really don't like to do it. Uh, I really don't like to uh, ask for money or donations, even though the pathways are up there, okay? And I really do want to thank, uh, I had a super chat earlier. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Let me throw it up there. Okay. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world, red and yellow and black and white. They're precious in his sight. Jesus loves the children of the world. Rest in heaven, Abby and Libby. Okay. Thank you for, uh, for the super chat. Um, but, uh, I wanted to uh, to get to to update you guys on a situation on our situation because uh, 
it's important and uh I figure you you would probably prefer to know than not. So <clears throat> so um so we're we're having we're experiencing extreme difficulty right now because uh the the trip to Indiana uh it cost quite a fortune for me to make, okay? Because uh I rented a house for a week, all the fuel and uh, all the expenses, all of this whatnot, okay, to, uh, to, to accomplish that. And at the time, it wasn't, an out, um, it wasn't an outrageous or outlandish action because I had savings, okay? But I invested a large amount of money in this entire uh, endeavor. And, um, and unfortunately, uh, when I got back, uh, my vehicle started experiencing severe problems, okay, and um, and so uh, so where I am at this moment is that um, is that is that I I have several options because uh, I know what's going on with the truck and what what's gonna need what it's going to take where I am with it, and uh, and I've already I'm already owing. Okay, because I already had to have it dealt with, looked at. But it's the the funny thing is, it's not even fixed because uh, right now the vehicle it's parked in the yard, and it's uh, I can't drive it. Okay, so um, so basically I had to choose because I had expended a lot of my uh, my uh, liquid uh, savings on this trip. Uh, now I'm at a place where the uh, the amount of money that it's going to cost me is what I expended. And so I got to this point this month where it was either fixed truck or pay rent. Okay. So that's why the truck is parked out there. Um, so, uh, so I am in a very difficult place right now because, uh, I don't have any way to repair the vehicle. Um, I'm now going to be behind on some bills because of what it cost me already and and what the trip has cost me that I now have to somehow reconfigure and get into that. So so what I wanted to uh, to, to let you know and inform you guys all on, on is that situation and that, um, you know, if if I see that, uh, you know, everyone supports the creators that they love when they need to and when it's a good time. So it was, if it was ever a good time to support me financially with contributions, donations uh, to help with my uh, catching up onto these expenses right now and then getting the truck rolling, um, I really, uh, I really would say now would be the best time. <clears throat> so um if you'd like to help in any way and help me, uh, if so, I could somehow recoup enough cash to get this vehicle back running so that we are not without a vehicle and I can get it from out in the grass and back on the road, um, please, please feel free. It, if the way that it helps the most is if you go through Cash App or PayPal, which are all linked on the um, on the page, I believe. But you can always ask me. But Cash App, PayPal, I get a hundred percent of it. There's no portion taken. If you, however, if you go through this, buy me a coffee or um, or YouTube super chats and this sort of thing, they take a percentage of it. But uh, whatever is easiest for you, if you want to contribute. Um, if you've enjoyed at all the the many the videos that I've put together as a result of my trip, you know, it's really like a, like that effort was totally a work of love and a work of uh, it's been a work of art since I've been back since I filmed it and been back. It's been a work of art, uh, and a project of art work for me to make these videos for you of all the photography and drone footage um, paired with the music. Uh, but this, uh, this sort of thing, you, you know, if you've appreciated that at all and you ever wanted to support, you know, please, uh, feel, please send them now. You know, if you want to support us this month, it would really help us get stabilized again. 
so that uh, I can get back to level with the vehicle. Uh, otherwise, that thing's going to be parked um, until I'm able to uh, to get a couple thousand dollars. But that's basically it's a couple thousand dollars it's going to take to fix it and uh, and get me settled with the truck. If uh, if you're not able to, please just please share the various videos, live streams, whatever you feel like sharing. But I'm especially proud of the drone footage that I put together from Delphi and uh, Indianapolis. I think it's I did beautiful work and I think it it uh, it shows you a good feeling for things I would like you to feel and the, kind of what the point of that project was. So uh, I just said all of that to say that uh, in any way you can help if you ever wanted to now would be a perfect time and very helpful for me and little prof because uh it's a uh, it's been a uh, it's been a real challenge this past month you know since i've been back it's been a challenge uh to to have all the uh all the things taken care of that I had to take care of upon returning. And uh, on top of that, I managed to get, uh, I kind of got a bug on my trip as well. So that's kind of a whole other thing. I've, I've been, not only have I been, um, you know, really trying to catch up with all the expenses, but I've been physically ill since I returned. Um, so that's what's been going on. <laughs> That's what's been going on. I wanted to catch up all the family because I don't come on as often as I used to. So I wanted to catch you all up on kind of our reality today and what's going on with us. And um, anyhow, I think that uh, I made it pretty clear now that, you know, it's kind of like hurting with the vehicle is what's going on. And it's a shame, but that's what goes on when you own a vehicle. It's uh, things happen from time to time that are very costly. And um, yeah, so let me see if I can catch back up on this chat and catch up with. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, if I if I took too long <laughs> with that uh, relaying of this situation, I'm sorry that it took long because it seems like the chat has slowed down. But let me get Noe back, and uh, and once Noe comes back in. We'll, uh, we'll discuss with the chat. So now I'm gonna take a look at the chat. I uh, apologize for that uh, little aside, but I wanted to catch the family up on what's going on over here. All right. Welcome back, Nui. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for your patience, dude. It's okay, bro. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, up. I'm a night owl. I probably won't go to bed till after 3 a.m. or something. So I'm just here. I was trying to read, uh, some of these um, comments. So do you want to start? Yeah, let me go back. I'm going to start at this one. Let's see. Um, so K West says, word who's here, especially people in a true crime arena dealing with murdered children, it's highly disturbing and distasteful. So do you see that comment in the chat? Yes, I do. Yeah, we're going to go from there. So okay. yeah, Kay West, it is disturbing, especially because <clears throat> that's the thing that got me with Rick Snake calling me a competitor. Uh, it's disturbing to me because we're dealing with murdered children, and I don't feel that I'm having competitors. I don't look, I don't view the other uh, creators and and people in the community as competitors. All right, and um, let's see. We're going to say, okay, JoJo has one, says Jinx and Bossy are an embarrassment to Hoosiers. The, I hope the rest of the public sees how gross and hateful they are inside. K. West says, I'm not, they're not running off Raffi either. No, they're not. Okay. Deanna, welcome in, Deanna. Uh, thanks for coming to the channel, Deanna. I'm afraid to say I'm a Kentucky girl, but I, but I support this channel. Well, there are good Kentucky girls and guys. Thank you, Deanna. All right. Noah, you want to read the next one? That Silk Mom, SLK Mom 24. 
I don't see it. Oh, I wanted to give you an opportunity. I'll let you read any you see, but this one yeah, says, okay, let me read one I can't I stand like. Rick. He's so immature, and I don't understand how he has the fan base that he has. Well, they're laughing at him, not with him. I live in Indiana, by the way, an hour from Chicago. Just wanted to say hello. Well, he hello. Hello. Thank you for coming in. You're anywhere. You're in, are you anywhere near Lowell? I've been to Lowell, Indiana before. That's about an hour from Chicago, I believe. Okay, I've got one by Deanna, who you just introduced. Uh, I reported harassing comments and even racist comments and a threat against Crime Night. And that's kind of cool that, you know, to have people who, anytime you, you spot something like that, even if it's not your channel, you know, report it. And that helps, I, I'd say, because uh, I've spotted a lot of, that kind of stuff uh discriminating uh comments and harassing comments um just recently there was one uh charlie murphy who left a a, a line of harassing comments on uh, on you prof oh say that again what happened? what happened i said that there was uh, recently there was one uh, by the name of Charlie Murphy, who left a row of, of very disturbing comments on uh, your uh, one of your posts. Oh yeah, uh, Charlie Murphy. Oh, it's good to that. have people just report report when you see something like that. If you help report, oh, yeah, them, please, yeah, them. report report threatening and and horrible posts. You know, the talking about my little four year old. I mean, report that, please. Okay. Yeah, this is what, what, what she's saying here is what a sick thing to do on Abby and Libby's case. Shame on people for doing this crap. We don't need pretenders stirring crap just for the fun of it. How sick. Yeah, that's referencing Yukio. You know, olive juice. Olive juice stirring shit for, to have a good time. Two murdered children. Uh, there's one here uh, from Key West or K West. When Small Balls admitted trafficking in one of his streams, did didn't he? Yeah, uh, I I've uh, I've witnessed that uh, absolutely. He he brags about having a family member who has a dispensary in Michigan, and that's where he gets his uh, cannabinoids, uh, which he's you know admitted that he uses. And that's all cool, you know. I mean, it's all good in Michigan. It's legal and everything. But once you cross the state line and you bring your baggie of goodies, that's trafficking. Right. And if, if, if Marion County is cool with, you know, the, the, he claims that the prosecutor in Marion County is not prosecuting marijuana. Uh, yeah, that's cool too, right? But it, it there's at least five to six counties before... From the state line of Michigan to Indianapolis, that you have to drive through to get back to Beach Grove. So, I mean, he makes stupid comments like that, you know. K West says, "Facts, Noe," and I just realized we're donning the same polo top. <laughs> All right, well, well, you and K West are matching, bro. Oh, we are. Yeah, nice. Yep. I I got a couple of these polos. Well, um, I don't see anything else. I might have missed stuff. Let's see. Uh, thank, you for, uh, thank you for saying my work is nice and sincere. I appreciate that, you guys. Uh, jo Jojo made a comment. Uh, these people, I don't know, embarrassed. Uh, make me feel so embarrassed of my state sometimes. Yeah. All right. You see anything else? No, I think I'm catching up now. I think we're catching up. I appreciate everyone who stuck around so far. I know Did you read Silker Mama 24? Silker Mom 24? 
I can't stand Rick. He is so immature, and I don't understand how he has the fan base that he has. I live in Indiana, by the way, and now we're from Chicago. Just wanted to say. Oh, yeah, I read that. I read that one. But, yeah, uh, the thing is that they they drink the Kool-Aid, the Rick Snake Kool-Aid, and uh, I don't don't understand what's the deal with it. I mean, but like, I, I think I heard you mention that they're laughing at him and but he thinks they're... That's what I think. I, is, yeah. You know, if you're going to watch him, you go to laugh at him for because he doesn't mind making a complete ass of himself. That's his... Well, well another his thing comedy is, that, is, is self-deprecating in an extreme manner. You know, it's like shameful. Yeah. yeah it's I, a mockery. Uh, it's a, it's a, like, to be discussing Abby and Libby and to be behaving in that way, you know, the whole... Remember the remember the f me f me good hard yeah hard. and then remember when he used to do the yeah I mean the whole the rapid the behavior I think it was something else in discussing the murders of children it's just it's a bad look it's a bad match and mm-hmm. and it's not it's not respectable in any way with I mean I look what he did with uh, uh, Franco Joy. Uh, they're beefing, you know, they're debating, uh, arguing, a debate, and he brings out the daughter and, say, and says that it's she's fair game, you know. Um, oh, is girl. that why he was told to stay off of YouTube for a while? Because he harassed a federal employee's 17-year-old daughter? Daughter, oh. who's also, I believe, her, her the girl's dad is a uh, sheriff's deputy in, in L.A., yeah, well, yeah. there are people saying that he was uh, spoken to by law enforcement, and uh, and you know that's that's kind of like the whole thing with Snay. Well, but I don't. Of course, he'll that, never admit it. He will never admit it. But uh, I don't think the girl's dad was very happy with that. No, the girl's um, dad, who is a uh, who is deputy. a sheriff deputy. Yeah, in the, in LA, LA yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. county. Yeah. Well, so um, let's see what Deanna is saying here. Mm-hmm. I don't either, except that I am fairly new to this, so it pulls up a lot of things for me when I just log into Delphi News. Mm-hmm. I see what you mean. K West says he doesn't take well to being called out. Most narcissists don't. So I don't know. No, you want to you want to make uh, your. Your statement, uh, you have any official statement to make before we uh, start to wind it down today? Yeah. Um, all right, I'll let you have the floor, brother. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Uh, well, first of all, you know, I want to uh, I want to mention that um, I respect the, the decision by Judge Benjamin Vanderpool. Um, he's a... Uh, He's a really good guy here in, in our community in Wabash, and he denied my petition. And um, and he he uh, he mentioned that both parties failed to show uh, enough evidence to meet the statutory definition of harassment. So he failed to show enough proof that I harassed him, and so did I. Okay. Uh, and I respect his judgment absolutely. Um, however, I like to to uh, bring up that uh, I had three claims, and uh, one of my claims was uh, threats of physical harm. Uh, I may not have had enough to to prove harassment, but it is my opinion that I did have enough to prove. Uh, threats of threats of physical harm uh, just within the, the the clips that I showed that were about two minutes and 46 seconds in length I condensed them and and uh, well he uh, he accepted it as evidence uh, however he did not rule on my favor and 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 I respect that so this opens the the door to we're back in square on square one um as soon as the um i believe it was wednesday morning when uh they entered the decision 
on Superior Court here in Wabash County um, by, um, I want to say it was around 8 a.m., 7 or 8, or maybe a little after, yeah, it would, it would have been a little after 8 a.m. I started receiving uh, uh, some comments on on my community page by Delphi After Dark, and I was informed that my petition was denied. That's how I found out. I found out uh, from a comment made by Rick Snape that morning, Wednesday morning. So uh, what I did was um, I called Rick Snape um, because I've, I've had his number for quite a while. I mean, I could have been calling Rick Snape for six months, but I never did because I, you know, I no, you know, no, uh, no reason to call him unless unless I did really needed to talk to him, which I did Wednesday. Uh, he was reporting to me that my petition was denied, so I called him, and he didn't answer. He didn't answer. Uh, so I'm like, well, you're you're addressing me on my comments on my YouTube channel, but you won't take a phone call. I mean, oh, well, okay, sure. So I start blasting him and, and that's just the way I, 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 I choose to do it. Obviously, you know, uh, it was, it was a draw. I am going to claim victory. Okay. I am going to claim victory because you know, I took the threats serious and I did the right thing, which was reported to the law enforcement, to law enforcement. And then they, law enforcement advised me to file a petition and I filed the petition. I gathered my evidence and I, and I was able to, uh, to t bring him to Wabash County to answer for the claims. And I did, and he did, uh, uh, come here to, the answer for the claims, which uh, was threats of physical harm on 914 and 1016, um, harassment on 82 and 914, and a form of stalking on 914, where he had uh, uh, announced that he knew where I lived and he knew where I worked and he would come here and, 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 and um, cause physical harm. With that being said, um, I have also received further uh, threats by, by Rick Snay, where he claims that it's on. Uh, the next time he sees me, it's on. Well, I have an announcement to, to, uh, to say to, to Rick Snay um, that um, when uh, the next time... Uh, we are in public, Rick Snay. You claim that you are going to take care of me. So uh, you're still threatening me with physical harm. And this is what I'm going to do, Rick, because we probably are going to be uh, in public sometime. And, and I know that your goal is that, that you are going to taunt me and provoke me so that there is a physical altercation, okay? Because you know that that if if I uh, if I get in any kind of trouble, I can end up uh, in jail. My my supervision could be uh, revoked, and 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 I could be charged with with a uh, a, a um, felony or even a misdemeanor would disqualify me from this part, uh, program. So that's your goal that you're going to taunt me so that I react in a, a physical manner so that I get arrested, so that I go to jail. And you claim that you will go to jail and bond out and I'm gonna stay in jail. Well, let me tell you, Mr. Snay, that, that the next time you were in public and you choose to taunt me or, or, uh, or you come through with your threats of kicking my ass, this is what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm going to take my forearms and I'm going to put them over my head and I'm going to cover my, my head and my face. Okay. And then I'm going to, I'm going to, um, 
I'm going to ball up in the fetal position and drop to the floor, to the ground. And I'm going to let you kick my ass. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So you come on, there's the ball. It's on your court. The next time when I see you in Carroll County at, at the, the Richard Allen hearing next uh, here in, in, in October, whenever it is, I'll be there. And um, when you come to kick my ass, I'm going to let you kick my ass, Rick Snay. Okay. And after you kick my ass, I'm going to call the cops and I'm going to press charges for kicking my ass. That's what I'm going to do, Rick. And then I'm either going to go to the hospital or home. And that's the order of events, Rick. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to let you kick my ass. Okay. And that's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid that Rick's name is going, going to provoke a situation where, where he thinks that I'm going to, to fight and get arrested and I'm going to get the, the worst end of the stick. Well, I'm not going to allow that, Rick. It's not going to work. It's not going to work because I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you kick my ass. Okay. With that being said, the challenge stands. I will face you any day and box you face to face. As consensual adults, we'll go to a gym. Nobody gets arrested. No cops um, allowed. You and me, we box for three or five minutes. And then we turn around and we go our way. And we can let all the anger out. You can let all your anger out and I can let all my anger out. That I will, that challenge stands, okay? But out in the public, if you think that you are going to manipulate me and control me and taunt me, like you said, uh, he, who, um, he who angers you controls you. Well, you anger me, but you don't control me, okay? I have the last say-so on what I'm going to do. And I just told you what I'm going to do. You are allowed to kick my ass, but you will be arrested because I will press charges against you. And that's what I'm afraid of, that you unhinged man, you're going to come in from behind. You know where I live. You know where I work. You're going to be hiding somewhere behind my building, coming and trying to provoke something in public. Well, try it, young man. Try it. And I will make sure that I press charges against you. Because I'm going to let you kick my ass. And that is my message to you, Rick. Well, there we have it. There we have it. So, Rick, go ahead, kick the boy's ass. Go to jail where you'll fit in just perfectly. So, uh, guys, I think we got a show. I think that's it. Uh, I love you all. Um, if you want to do the chat, look, light that chat up right now. Uh, if you want to say anything more to Noe, myself, want us to address anything, uh, we'll give it like five, ten more minutes. We'll be out of here. That's Thanks cool, a lot, man. Noe. And, and look, you know, I'm sorry with all the stress and the drama you've been through while you're trying to recover, you know, and, and like pull yourself up by your bootstraps and like do the right thing all day, every day. You know, it's like this shit is... It's fucking with you. You're trying to also work a full-time job. Like, I'm sorry, but you've been going through, you know, and, um, and I know you feel the same. And I know all of our friends that we talk to daily. I know we're all sorry that we're all going through this because there's a bunch of us, you know. And uh, guys, I'm just trying to wake up those who don't understand yet that the lines have been clearly drawn. The lines have been very clearly drawn. You got two sides. Bottom line. There's only two sides, okay? Now, you calmly observe everyone and figure out which side. Because I'm not going to be here telling. But uh, I think you can see that Noe is, is being open and honest and and 
up front and, and from the heart, and so am I. And I do believe Miss Meow, and I do believe the unraveling, and I do believe Rafi and Joe Lewis and uh, all our other friends. I believe we're all being as honest and passionate and transparent uh, as we possibly can. And so ask yourself if, if this other side is doing the same, okay? We're exhausted, guys. Like, to be honest, look at Noe and I. I mean, I'm just looking at my reflection here in the computer screen, and uh, I can tell you, we both look fucking exhausted. <laughs> Lisa says, uh, thank you, thank you to both of you. We love you and appreciate you both. Thank you, Lisa. Love your friends and love your enemies. It's the only way. Faith and everything is going to go our way. Thank you, True Crime Skeptic, for coming in and also for the heart. And Diamond Eyes, thank you for that. Lisa Marie says, Team Noe. Welcome in, Pam. You're, low, you're late. You got to go rewatch, Pam. Welcome in, and thank you so much for coming, Pam. Noe, exactly that's what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he's doing. And that's in uh, Bossy. That, that was their whole, their whole purpose is that they want to see me like fall down and go to jail. You know? They want you back in jail is the goal. Yeah. yeah. And all because, all, you know, I, I won't shut up. You know, they, they've tried to silence me. You know, they try to, you know, and it's not going to happen. <clears throat> Let's see. You know, this whole thing where Rick says, mentions on that, um, on this document, the, the the statement of lies that I had I had participated in a in a panel with him and things like that. and that's you know dude I I came out I did my thing and then it was just it was the reason why why this is happening is because I associated with Holly Lowry and you bro that is why because they've told me multiple times Frosty jinx even snay even rock has tried to tell me that if i did not talk to you guys that they would be cool with me yeah this is this is why they hate me is because i talked to holly lowry and you bro that that's the root of all this freaking hate in their part yeah, you got to ask what's what's the motivation, what's the agenda here? And uh, mm -hmm. constantly, I'm trying to show you without having to tell you. So, guys, just like I'm saying, you look at everyone. And look, Prof, I used to talk to them. I used to talk to, uh, I never really talked to Rick when I first came out, but I used to uh, exchange uh, comments with Hybrid, with Jinx, even with Bossy. I remember exchanging uh uh, when I was on a live with Greeno, I think she came in. But you know, I when I the day that I noticed that there was something odd was the day that I was at work and I was in Rockus's Discord. Okay, and I had just met you briefly through chat on your shows, but I noticed something really strange on Discord. My phone was kept going off and going off and it was it was raucous's discord and everybody there i mean i they were they were plotting about they were talking about your son they were uh slandering you they were and it was all jinx hybrid and bossy and yukio uh you know and when troll i saw farm. that when it, i saw it was that, a troll farm yeah. That was that. That was when I realized I'm not gonna. I left Ruckus's, uh Discord for that reason because I was like, I didn't know you that well then, and I was like, why are they? I mean, what's going on? I mean, just because he's got a his theory or or uh, you know, uh, 
and and I saw that odd, and I left Rockus's Discord, and since then, you know, I just kind of stayed away from from that drama until it it all started with you know at Keegan's. Well, first it started with with murder sheet, and then we got through that, and then and then the the Keegan sentencing. Yeah, I mean. <clears throat> Yeah, and we'll we'll get we'll, we're going to have another episode of this series, so we'll go into more. We'll yeah. we'll expound on this more. Um, I think it's a good place to leave it. Thank you, uh, Noe, again uh, for helping, and uh, we're going to do more episodes because we're going to go all the way with this. We're going all the way with it. We're going to show you every single one of these people. Mm -hmm. So. Seatbelts on and be in for the long haul. We're tired. We're exhausted. Yep. There's dupe dupe the dupe uh coming in um on my uh community post. But oh, yeah. yeah, that's another another one in the surrender surrender Dorothy. There's just many of them. We gotta a lot many. of these accounts are snay. A lot of these accounts are jinx. A lot of these accounts are bossy. A lot of these accounts are Thomas Frost. A lot of these accounts are Chris Long. In the archive. Yeah. So you guys have to understand a lot of these accounts are just a handful of people with a lot of accounts. And we know from two separate sources that they all share each other's passwords. So imagine if you have five people all sharing their passwords plus all of their troll account passwords and that is what it is guys that's what that's what you call the troll farm it's the troll farm and i love you guys look uh let's, yeah k west has a good one here i find topping off rappy raffy and a sprinkle of crime night gets their attention seems the people who see suspicion in or around or towards a family Likewise, those with the knack at uncovering links triggers them. Yeah. So what it means is that if you're Crime Night, if you're Rafi, if you're an Unraveling, if you're Meow, if you're any of these channels, okay, they're coming after you. And the lines have been distinctly, clearly drawn. And that's what I am trying to draw your attention to as, a, uh, as an audience. Uh, so that you start to see what we experience as reality. All right. That that dupe da do left a mess a comment on my one of my community posts, and uh, I'm gonna read it. Okay, will you allow me to read it? Sure. Go ahead. He says. I also have a question about something I heard. Is it true that the FBI came to talk to you at your job about a couple of kids in a couple of coach photos that you posted because the pictures got ran through NCMEC's facial recognition software automatically when you uploaded them? And there was a positive result on at least two of the kids. Did you hear that one? Well, this is clearly an attempt to slander you, you know, to allege you of committing crimes or being associated with committing crimes against children. Mm -hmm. And this doop doop da do doop da do, uh, it's been coming in, and and uh, this is the same winner who called my child an ugly little bastard. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's where I'm gonna go with like the type of comments, the mo. Uh, it's it's right there. So so, you know, you narrow narrow the possibility of who could this be. You know, you just named them. Yeah, it's all the same handful. And uh, Sassy is saying here, Snay is posting responses on his channel. <laughs> Well, he don't have the balls to come in here and, and talk logically because he can't argue logically. With them. I'm calling. I mean, it, I'll the tell thing, you what, Nate. I'll call you right now. We just put the thing is, I I told you at the beginning of the show I announced that I unblocked him so that he could come in here in this chat 
and 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 um and basically he could uh defend well, himself he could he could he could address these uh facts logically with us but of course he won't and um and he'll he'll never ante up to the facts <laughs> Look, bro, I guarantee you that if I call him right now, one, he's not going to answer. But if I call him right now, the next thing you know is that they're, they're going to say, no, he is harassing me. Yeah, they okay? will. But now go back to Labor Day weekend. Him, Jinx, and, and Frosty had a live stream called Real Talk when they called you. And, and they were all laughing and mocking because you you answered and hung up, and and that was cool. But if I was to call him, he's gonna call he's gonna call it harassment. Or yes, I, they called I, me. You, they Mr. called me against my will, knowing I didn't want any contact. Thomas Frost called against my will, knowing I didn't want any contact. But it's been an ongoing thing, and it's uh, it's all documented. Thank God. And I well, got, I got Chris, I got Chris Long's phone number. I got Frosty's phone number. I got Jinx's phone number. I got him. Okay, I got your phone numbers. But I, you know, if I call you, you're gonna cry. You're gonna cry. But you can go and and do all these postings and all these kind of comments. You know, all over uh, vicarious vigilante. Uh, you have my face all over Elton John and prof and tara and everybody else and, and go in, in your reunions and have fun and make make mockeries out of it all but if i call you you're gonna cry yeah. or if i if i expose you and i say i think this person is that person because i can i can kind of see that they are what do they do they cry they cry all of them in the archive frosty Jinxie, Yukio, Kyra De Bruin. Well, and that's let's leave it there because 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 you you just hit on a big point. You just hit on a big point, which is a mockery of justice. That's what I titled the show today, episode two, because what this ultimately boils down to is a complete mockery of justice. Okay, and. The lines are clearly divided, and the most odd thing in the world is that it's all the pro-prosecution side and creators and trolls that are pulling this, okay? So not only are they making a mockery of justice in the court system and in the, and in the Carroll County Sheriff's Office, but they're making a mockery of justice in these YouTube streets, you know? So these and girls are not... They, Everyone's upset that it's being discussed, but the point of these discussions is to wake everyone up to what's happening. Because it, when you observe that that it's it's distinctly divided and it's information warfare against the pro prosecution side and against the pro due process side, e essentially, in essence, you know, it's very concerning because we see that that all this that's taking place has a an agenda behind it and if and let me say something that i know somebody who associates with all of them and i've gotten phone numbers i've gotten screenshots i've gotten you know um i have it okay and this that's how i found out that aspen is behind the unhinged with receipts Okay. I have Sonny Justice's phone number. Am I calling her and harassing her and shit? No. But you know, if I can guarantee you that if I call her, she'll blow me off and hang up. Oh, but she threw a party. She threw a party slandering me at eight months ago. But I can't call her because it's no, he's harassing Sonny Justice. Or no, I have Aspen's phone number as well. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Anyway, I, I wanted, uh, thanks for uh, letting me make my statement. 
Uh, thanks for having me. And chat, thank you. And I'm sorry we did not address, you know, more. Yeah, uh, chat. chat, we love you. We, we, I'm seeing everything in the chat, and I love my people in here tonight. You know, we got Diamond Eyes, Digital, K West, Pam, uh, Lisa Marie, uh, True Crime Skeptic. I mean, just all my favorites. Frenchie was here earlier, and Nancy Drew, and uh, I, did, I know just everyone that I love here, like Janie Lane and uh, Fur Baby Daddy. The whole crew was here. I appreciate you so much. Uh, everyone tell Noe good night, tell Prof good night, tell Little Prof good night. We love you guys. Uh, it's been fun. I'm going to put on the uh, outro music and we'll join you in the chat for five minutes on the way out of here. But uh, thanks again. If you're watching the replay, remember, if you want to make a donation or anything like that, you can still do it on the replay. All right. I really appreciate everyone and I appreciate uh, you, Noe. And, uh, and let, let's catch up with the chat in, a, in the next minute or two. Yeah. Good night. Good night. All right. I'm out. <laughs>